So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can draw neon lights on a piece of paper in the absolute most easy way possible so you can also create your own neon drawings and you can also use the techniques i'm going to explain for other types of glowing lights such as lightning or if you want to draw a lightsaber for example so yeah i hope you will enjoy the video and find the tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe of course with notifications if you like the video at any point so you don't miss out on future tutorials enjoy the video I hope you're ready because here goes the first step in the process of drawing neon lights. We're gonna start off with a scrap piece of paper where we're gonna be sketching the design. In order to create the design there are a few things you need to pay attention to. So a neon sign is made out of individual tubes. Sometimes they overlap but in general there's a gap between each tube. So when you draw you can't create branches and you have to make each line separate from each other. So to clarify this a little bit more. This is an example of an overlapping. The lines are crossing but it's still an individual tube. It's not possible to create a branch like this unless you leave a gap in between. So I hope that made sense. So this is my design and from this sketch we're gonna make a neon drawing. So now it's time to grab yourself a black piece of paper. The second part of the first step is to transfer this design onto a black piece of paper. Here is how. Take your original sketch and fill the entire backside with graphite. Then you lay the sketch on top of the black piece of paper and use a pointy object such as a ballpoint pen to go over the sketch. Et voila, the design is transferred to the black piece of paper. Now the real work will begin because we are gonna create the neon tubes. The design is done, that was step number one, so now it's time for step number two. And for this we will need a pink Posca marker, a white Posca marker and a pink neon fine liner. But of course you can also go for other colors like blue, orange, but it doesn't really matter. It's up to you to decide what color you want. Use your colored Posca marker to create the first layer of the neon tubes. If you have a marker with a fat tip, I would suggest using that. But unfortunately, I don't have one. It's not a big deal actually, I just have to do a little bit more work. So what's important now is that you go over the first layer of pink Posca marker again to create a second layer. Because the black piece of paper kind of absorbs the intensity of the pink color and you will see that the color will pop a lot lot more with a second layer. So let's work on that now. Another thing you could do, I haven't done it in this design but I have done it over here, is creating these neon drips. And now it's time to swap Posca markers. Because now we have to make the inside of the neon tubes white. Once again I will do a second layer, I will go over all the white to make it a lot brighter but I will also go over the pink one more time to give it that extra touch. I'm not gonna show that on camera, I'll see you again when it's done. We're still not done as far as creating the neon tubes goes, so we'll continue the second step now by adding the neon fine liner into the mix. You simply go around the white part of the neon tubes with the fine liner and this final touch will make a huge difference. Oh yes, step 2 is done and now we're gonna add in the glow in step 3. To start off, use your pink pencil to create a glow. The closer to the neon tube, the more intense the color should be. And by pressing hard on the pencil, you can increase the intensity of the color. Right now the glow doesn't really look too smooth. You can fix that by using a blender. So yeah, that looks a lot, lot smoother. To finish things off, grab your white pencil and go around the neon tubes to create that final glow. 
just like that your neon drawing is finished. You can leave it like that or you can do an additional fourth step. During the fourth optional step of this tutorial we're gonna create a background. The first element of the background is creating a 3D effect. Simply redraw the whole picture with a black Posca marker but it has to be slightly off, so a little bit below and to the right of the original tubes. And last but not least, add some bricks with a white pencil to create the illusion that the neon sign is hanging on a wall. So there you go, that was everything you need to know about how to draw neon lights. If you make your own neon drawing, don't hesitate to show me your creation. I'm actually very curious to see what you guys will come up with. So make sure to use the hashtag Bamsway on Instagram and tag me in the picture of course. Or you can also send me an email if you want. So I would say thank you for watching and then we see each other in a new video. Take care.